Eric Burgess here, and we have been tasked with expressing the number 2.516 repeating as a ratio of integers. Now, uh, repeating decimals can be rewritten as a ratio of integers because they're going to form a geometric series. So we can rewrite this as, oh, let me use black here. We can rewrite this as 2 plus, and this 0.516, it repeats over and over and over, right? 516, and this first one ends, and so this is the tens, hundreds, thousands. So this is 10 to the 3. So if we divide this by 10 to the 3, we get the same thing as 0.516. And then it repeats, right? So we have another 516, and we, we went back three more decimal spots. So that puts us at 10 to the 6. And you know, we keep going. 0.516, so we get another one of those, and then we go 10 to the 9th, and on and on and on. So from here we say, okay, with this, what we want to do is rewrite this, and we'll just keep the two at the front, that's fine. And for this bit, we notice that it increases by 10 to the three every time. And this is the same thing as a geometric series, with the first term being a, and the common ratio being one over 10 to the three. That would be our R. So we can rewrite this as a sum, because this is just a geometric series, of uh, 516 divided by 10 to the 3 over 1 minus the common ratio R, which is 1 over 10 to the 3. That's how much it increases every time. And we are going to wind up with a number. So I'm going to go ahead, and when you do this, you should get 2 plus 172 over 333. And if you were to turn this into the decimal part, you would see that it's repeating 516, 516, 516, 516. So we have done it. Now what we want to do is just get this 2 and just recall, we can just make this 2 times 333 over 333. And this is going to give us the same thing as 2 back. And then we could just add that to our number here. And we're going to get out our answer. So we're going to take our answer, we're going to add to it, and we get out 838 over 333. And there it is, the ratio of two integers that expresses this number, 2.516 repeating. And if you go on your calculator and you check it, you'll see, in fact, that it is 2.516 repeating on and on and on and on. It might round it at the very end because your calculator will only go to so many decimals. But uh, that is how you do this. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know and we'll catch you in the next problem.